And lo and behold, here we are today. Hello everybody, you can call me Bloody. I welcome back to Spire Knights. Bloody is up to some silly shenanigans again. No, not the gemstone prize boxes, that's for a different video. You saw the title of this video, we're going to be messing around with this thing today. It's the steam controller. And I almost forgot that I had this thing. Well, let's get started with this silly idea. Let's go! Hmm... No... Nope. Nuh-uh. Hmm. Something doesn't feel quite right. Playing with the mouse and keyboard just isn't doing it today for some reason. Maybe there's something in the settings that we can do about that. Well, what do we have here? Toggle Steam Controller Mode. I've never seen a video game give that option before. Actually, now I think about it, we have a Steam Controller that's gathering some dust in some boxes at the moment. That might make for a good video idea. Let's try it out. At last, everything is working. I'm a genius- wait. I can't move. Oh, come on now. Yes, we did manage to get a Steam Controller working in Spire Knights, but the controls did need some adjustments. In the lower right corner of this video, you'll see what's happening with the Steam Controller in real time. Now there were some user-made controller settings that we could use, but I thought it would be a good idea to mess around with the Steam Controller and see how well of a controller setup that we can make out of this thing. Let's see here. We can use our weapons. The shield works. We can dash. Let's see if we can do a shield bash. Hmm. No. What if we do this instead? Yes! Our controller setup works. Let's go and test out our loadout. Now we could go to the arcade, but if I right to try out this new Steam Control loadout that we just made in a lockdown PvP match. Well, it works, and the controls feel kind of natural. Not too sure if it's intuitive, sort of like how a lot of actions that are mapped onto controllers in video game consoles are usually very similar with each other across other games. Well, my reaction time probably could've been better there, but eh, knowing me, that was bound to happen eventually. Well, that was fun. Now then. Let's really put this controller loadout to the test. And what better place than to see if you can defeat Vanaduke with a Steam Controller. With your own mapped controls. Bring it on, Vanaduke. Bloody and a Steam Controller versus Vanaduke. Who will win? I'll try to keep the edits to this boss fight to a minimum. Especially since Bloody did have some difficulty using the steam controller to aim the water at Van Duke's head a couple times. As well as the fact that there might have been a few moments where Bloody was hesitating in attacking, because if there was a screw up and we wind up getting wrecked by Van Duke, then Bloody would have just restarted this rank mission and did everything in the Firestorm Citadel from start to finish with the steam controller. When really, I just wanted to see how well you could fight uh, Van Duke with the Steam Controller. If I nail this boss fight, then I'll go and upload those Steam Controller mappings onto the Steam... Uh, the place where the controller mappings are uploaded for other players to try out. As far as I know, there aren't any videos of anyone playing Spire Knights with a Steam Controller. And the only thing close enough to that will be some posts on the Spire Knights forums and or Reddit. So the Steam Controller does work on Spire Knights, it just requires some fiddling around with. Now we did get the Steam Controller several years ago, way back then when you could pre-order it. We used it for a little bit, eventually we got bored of it once the novelty wore off 
and then we just shelved it. The same thing happened with the steam link that we got that came with it. That is, until I saw the option for the steam controller in the Spire Knight settings. Then I knew that I had to make a video on it. Once I eventually got around to finding the bloody thing that is, it was hiding in some old boxes that I kind of forgot about. And lo and behold, here we are today. If I'm correct, steam controllers are no longer in production and that the only way you can get them is to buy them from third party sellers. For what I can only assume would be a pretty significant markup. Much more than whatever the MSRP was for the steam controller originally. Well, whatever. I'm happy to have gotten a steam controller several years ago, cause now I get to enjoy it again and see Vanaduke get wrecked by our steam controller. Can we really do this boss fight without getting wrecked by Vanaduke? I hope so. Let's see. Yes! We did it! It took several attempts, but we managed to defeat Vanaduke with the Steam Controller. Let's go!
Once I'm done using the Steam controller for this video, it's going back into storage because I'm worried about breaking this thing. Ugh, <sighs> we had some fun messing around with the Steam controller today. Now, why do we make this video? Well, you see, the Steam Deck was just launched sometime earlier this February. It's a fun little portable gaming computer that you can play your PC games on. And thanks to the power of Reddit, I bought into the hype and pre-ordered one myself on the day that the pre-orders were opened, if I'm correct. And we still got stuck with an after Q2 date. So that probably means that I won't be able to get one until maybe later this year. Hopefully. Well, that aside, Bloody got around to uploading the Steam controller controls that we made onto Steam. Maybe it'll help someone. Who knows? We'll see what happens. And that's all that I have to show with you for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.